The Sixth Elegy. Fig tree, for such a long time now, there has been meaning for me. In the way you almost wholly omit the flower and urge your pure secret unheralded into the early resolute fruit. Like the jet of a fountain, your arched bow drives the sap downward, then up, and then it leaps from its sleep, barely waking into the bliss of its sweetest achievement. See, like the god into the swan. We, though linger, ah, our pride is in flowering and already betrayed. We reach the late core of our final fruit. In a few, the urge to action rises so powerfully that they are already waiting and glowing with their heart's fullness when the temptation to flower, like the midnight air, touches their tender mouths, touches their eyelids. Heroes, perhaps, and those chosen to vanish prematurely, in whom death the gardener wove different veins. These plunge ahead, they go before their own smile, like the team of horses in the slightly hollowed out relief of Karnak's victorious Pharaoh. The hero is strangely close to those who died young. Lasting does not contain them. Being is his ascent. He moves on time and again, to enter the changed constellation his risk entails. Few could find him there, but destiny that darkly hides us, suddenly inspired, sinks him into the tempest of his onrushing world. I hear no one like him. All at once I am pierced by his darkened sound, carried on streaming air. Then. How gladly I would hide from the yearning. Oh, if I, if I were a boy and might come to it still and sit propped on the future's arms and reading about Samson, how his mother first bore nothing and then all. Was he not a hero already? Oh, mother in you did not his imperious choice begin inside you. Thousands seethe in the womb and willed to be him, but see, he grasped and let go, chose and achieved. And if he shattered pillars, it was when he burst out of the world of your flesh into the narrower world where he went on choosing, achieving. O oh, mothers of heroes, O oh, sources of ravening rivers, ravines into which weeping girls have plunged from the high heart's edge, future offerings to the sun. Because whenever the hero stormed through the stations of love, each heartbeat meant for him, lifting him onward, he turned away, stood at the end of the smiles someone other